Hey guys, welcome to another Unity C Sharp tutorial. My name is Raja and in this video we're gonna learn about public and private kind of variables. Okay, so let's get started. Now, why do we need public and private? Now, whenever we create a variable and suppose I create a variable like this, I write int a and this is how I create a variable and if I don't give public or private in front of it, then uh, it gets the default scope. Okay, but if I give it public, so that means if I write public in front of it, that means I want this variable to be publicly available to other scripts as well as other game objects. So now this variable is public, so that means anyone can access this. We can access this variable from other scripts and moreover if this is public then from the inspector if you select this quad game object since this script is attached to quad as you can see we have a and we have a we have a slot where we can put values so if we create a variable public then unity helps us to assign value to this game object from the inspector itself okay so now we can write whatever value we want to give this variable a from here we don't have to go to the script and write it we just we can just write it write it here and it will be assigned to a suppose I give it the value 10 and now if I just go and debug log the value of a and if I run it you will see that as you can see here this 10 value that we have given gets printed okay so we can assign whatever value we want to the public variables directly from the inspector instead of going through code and we can also access these variables from other script in, in a lot of situations we may have to access this kind of variables from other scripts so if we make it public only then we can access it and if we make it private if I write private in front of it now as you can see this thing will be gone so if I write private here then we cannot access it from here moreover we cannot also access it from other scripts also so private whenever we are making it private that means we want it to be a private property or something like that so we don't want anything else to access this okay but there are also uh, many tools by which we can actually make these private variables available on the inspector and there are also tools by which we can make the public variables not uh, available here so we will learn more about those things in later videos so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something thank you very very much for watching and for more helpful tutorials just check out the link in the description and have a great day